Right, now we're going to have a go to Sitting Cat. So I'm just turning the glass around in the flame. What I'm doing is heating up the glass and holding it at this angle so the glass is going to roll down on itself and create the blob. So you can see it's sliding down on itself. Once we've got the blob to the right size, I'm going to squidge it. I'm going to press it down on the marble, this metal plate, and I'm going to do that four times, which will give us the basic shape for the sat cat. Nearly there. This cat will be pink when it's finished. Uh, so um, Wendy will spray gold onto the surface of the cat and when the cat is fired in the kiln the uh, gold will sink into the surface and change to a pink colour. Right, nearly at the squidging point. the surface, two, three, now for the fourth one which is a different angle, so that gives us basically the, uh, the shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the two front legs. Heating up the end of this rod here, I'm going to drag the glass down the front of the cat's body to create the leg. little blob at the bottom of the leg there for the paw, same on the other side. And just squash this down slightly, letting gravity do some of the work. Just squashing that down very slightly. Now for the, uh, the back legs. Again, just heating up the end of the rod and dragging the glass up and onto the other side as well. And just use the burner as a tool. Now for the back paws. Again, heating up the glass in the uh, in my right hand. This and just pulling it slightly across like that and onto the other side okay. and squatting it down very gently now for the tail heating up the back end of the cat Pulling it out very gently, wrapping it round. So I'm turning the cat round rather than the, uh, the tail. Because glass is a hot material, we have to think in terms of handles, how we're going to hold it. And I'm going to hold this by the tail. I've just bent it over the end of the burner. So we've got that nervous twitch with a cat, which a cat's tail has. And uh, now I'm going to, uh, the uh, legs are coming out and down, and I'm going to heat up this bit here, pull it forward, that's going to give us the chest, and also make it look as though the cat's legs are coming out from underneath. So just turning it around. Pull 
back a little bit to give us more on the spine. At the moment it's a spineless cat. And then dragging it forward. And there we are. Right, now just bend that round well like that. Just push it down very slightly. There's the chest. Onto the shoulders. At the top of the shoulders, it's going to have its neck pulled. And just to impress you with my knowledge of cat anatomy, at the top of the neck, we're going to do the head. So just turning this round. Again, I'm going to give it a little bit of uh, weight for the head. Just wrapping the glass around there. Heating up the, uh, the head. I've got a thinner piece of glass now, which we're going to do the face or the mask of the cat. Just allowing gravity to, uh, to pull the head forward slightly. and heating up the end of the thinner piece of rod onto the surface there. That's giving us the, uh, the muzzly bit. And just put it out a little bit more. And now for the nose. So heating up the end, just drag the glass down slightly. There's the nose and the ears. Just heating the surface up. Pulling the glass backwards and forwards creates a little triangle when it's pulled out. Same on the other side. So heating up the surface, we're going to attach the rod to, pull it out. There's the other ear. And now for the eyes. So again, heating up the surface, just a quick dab on. And press it in using the burner. And same on the other side. Dab on, press in. So there's the, uh, there's the cat. Next thing to do is take the handle off. So I'm going to use a, a pair of pliers in this case and just uh, just burn the end of the tail away. There it is, one sat superior cat.